Hey everyone, my name is Gig Marans, also known as Moonlight Orange, and I'm here to show you a tutorial that I've been working for the last month. So, in this tutorial, I show all my process step by step, and it's fully voiced. Also, you have more than 10 hours of tutorial. The reason is, I voiced this tutorial while I was drawing, so it took me a bit more time to get the whole thing done. The advantage is that you can hear what I was thinking exactly at the moment I'm drawing. I could have voiced it over after the fact, but then I probably wouldn't be able to remember all the details of each moment. So I hope you guys appreciate it. It takes some time to get used, but at the end you can really see that it pays off. Uh, so. This video here is a sample of the video that you can get from my gun road. When you get the video from my gun road, you get the whole 10 hour tutorial fully voiced. You get the PSD fully layered, final size, and also you get the brushes that I've used to paint the image. So if you're an artist and you're interested in this kind of stuff, I think you're gonna like the package. If you just want to see the image being done, you can also watch it in this speed up video. Check the link below and that's it. Thanks for your support and I hope you enjoy the video. I think this uh, I want, yeah, I have this one and I have this one. Let me see which one. This has more density. Both have this. Uh, I think this has more obvious effects and this one is better for like uh, more subtle. So I'm going with this one. Uh, by the way, I'm going to include those. Uh, those brushes you guys saw that I painted on basically only with the round brush and my basic texture brush here where it is uh, it's here it's a mess here man so <coughs> I'm gonna include those uh, along with the, the file for this uh, this painting that I'm gonna probably put on gun roll so I'm gonna put those two brushes plus the round brush and the other one is just a, a soft variation of the round brush so I'm gonna have all the brushes you see it's not a lot of them that I use so what I'm gonna do here is around this like uh, this light area I have uh, some some sparkling it doesn't it does not show that much on the dark parts but it shows on the light so I'm doing this with the normal layer but what I want to do actually is like go for color dodge and not just this I go to the blend blending options and just like activating the blend effect as a group so you can see that it got super intense here when it's close to the light and that's exactly the sparkling effect I was looking for you see so it's like before changing the layer style and after changing the layer style so yeah this is the effect I was looking for however it's a bit too intense and I probably explained already the difference between the opacity and feel but this is a good situation to like uh, really show what's the difference so if I just go here and reduce opacity I'm just making it making the flakes more transparent -y. but when I go for when I go and uh, reduce the fill, I'm actually making the filling less uh, effective. You know, you see that here around the around the light area, the the dots are still pretty much solid. You know, here and here, if even in like 24%, you can see that. They still have like some very bright sparkling here. However, when I just go for the opacity, you can see that the same value here is present here. So it makes no discernment of uh, of like the area where is this? Uh, what's underneath the the the, the layer? While the fill it, it makes a distinction of what is underneath so that's why I think it's interesting to use the fill so I just reduce a bit the opacity and I'm trying to see here how, how much is, uh, is too much how much is enough of this 
just wanna make it look nice. I don't wanna make it like out of place, you know. Like I was saying before, eh? we have uh, all the image kind of clean. Let's see on 50%. I can think I can even like create this a bit more. Yeah, so I've got a bit of sparkling now. I can just go here too and the shorts. Especially on the light parts, the dark parts not so much, but Nice, the sparkling is going to work nice. And even like give it a give it paint here in the dark parts anyway, because be a bit even a bit bigger. Because the the opacity con the, the the fuel make sure that they are not showing too much on this areas. So I'm just gonna make sure that it's not the sparkling is not going through all the areas. That's gonna look a bit on her face of this part. Yeah, it just looks a bit like noise. Well, anyway, I'm gonna add a bit of uh, of this uh, sparks on her face but not this way so what I can do here now is just get my my round brush again and just go and scratch it a bit just to can go like two dots two pixels two pixel brush and just uh, give it a bit of a scratch on the metallic fabric just to have some bit longer uh, strokes mm. just wanna be careful to not be too intense that's uh, that's one thing I'm I'm wor worried I don't wanna lose control of uh, of those those effects or they can just dominate everything Everything, everything is gonna be dominated. No, so sorry. Uh, okay, here I can just uh, increase the hardness of my brush to raise the borders to make sure that the sparkling is not going to the arms. Here, same thing. Okay, so it's looking good. Okay. So what I'm going, going to going to do here is part of like uh, the finishing of this piece. So I'm gonna duplicate the ring light and put it like out of the the clipping mask. Just because I want to, I want it to be a glow. So you see that since I removed it from the clipping mask, it doesn't have an, it doesn't have the boundaries of of the my, my base character. So I'm just gonna create a mask here and just apply. So right now I, I have the same boundaries and it's basically a copy. So it's increasing the intensity of my uh, base screen light. And what I want to do here is just like blur it. Gaussian blur should do just fine. So there's another thing about this Gaussian blur. You see that here there's no blur at all. So if I put a bit of blur, you can start to see like the the blur happening. If I just go here, you you feel like okay, it's all gone. It's too dissipate. But when you see like with and without 
you see how much difference this glow mm. is is making to the to the ring light. It's pretty interesting. So I'm going Gaussian blur again. Be even more. I want to make it diffuse in a way that here I think is a bit too concentrated. I want to diffuse it in a way that it looks more natural. Okay, so I'm getting happy with this. The ring lights are really like dissipating. If you look at from far away, you can see that they are they're looking pretty nice. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to turn off it and control A, Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift V. So basically just made a copy of my image and I'm just gonna control click here and make a mask. And I'm going to invert this mask and apply it. So now I have only the background. You see here with my my thumbnail here that if I just remove this thing here. You see there's, there's still a bit of the character. But now I have only the background. If I just like go and and change the color, I'm only changing the color of the background. So I'm going to do the same thing here, but on the reverse. I just want the background to eat a bit into the character. Uh, since the background is lighter than the character, and since she's reflecting the background a bit, it's going to have a bit this of this bloom effect. So let's see how much. But for the background, like if I do like just too much, it's just get this foggy mess. So for the background, I want to control a bit more how much I'm going to add a blur. And very likely I'm just I'm going to, to like decrease drastically the opacity of this. So around 13. It is nice can see the legs here that's creating a cool cool volume. So turn on, turn off. Background is eating to the character. And I can go for like uh, lighten here. So you guys know how lighting works it gets the things that are darker than the background and make them the color of the background so the ring lights are not affected like this it's darkening the ring lights and it makes no sense since it's a blue effect it should be a light effect it should be like illuminating things and light doesn't make other light darker you know so that's uh, what I have working for me here <coughs> if I go far away, you can see how the effect is affecting my character. But it's too intense, so I'm gonna put it around like 25%. And see the effect that it has from far away. Maybe it's a bit too subtle. Yeah, now you can see the effect. Too intense. 35. I guess now we're going to see the effect here in the body. Yeah, you don't see the on the hair because all the ring light of the hair is uh, lighter than the background, so you just see on the body that's darker than the background. Okay, I like how it is going, and uh, let's turn the glow. So now you have we have those two like glow layers. So let's call this one BG glow and this one ring lights glow. Yes, it's working. And now I'm gonna have um, probably gonna be my last layer. I'm just uh, try to duplicate this layer and put it to color dot and see what happens. Uh, I think it gets a bit too intense. <laughs> 